friends, I'm J Maxwell. Welcome back to my channel. This is J Max X. Today we continue in the Real Housewives Gone High reunion. This is season four, the reunion part two. I messed it all the way up. Let's see what happens. Oh. Okay. We're gonna get an extra fight. Well, I'm right here. Y'all thought I was playing? Sit y'all ass down. <laughs> Why is that funny? Little girl, you is crashing out. On the finale, you was just so against violence, and now you want to steal off on a bitch. It don't add no, up. No, I was against deadly violence. Violence that put people on life support. Girl, violence okay. is violence. Okay. The one y'all was calling a bitch scary. Now I hit somebody and it's a problem. Girl, you a weird flip-flop ass pig. Keep my husband's name out of your mouth and you won't get popped. The problem is you think you can do what you want when you want. But I'm going to let you know that's not the case. Uh -oh. You do some stupid shit again, I'm going to transfer your mind and your body to the nearest emergency room. Well, damn. We clear? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Tintin, do you feel you went too far putting your hands on your friend? I definitely went too far. I was a mess of unprocessed emotions and I took it out on her. And I apologize to her for that. And I apologize for ruining the vibe of your event with all that mess. Okay. Thank you. What? Eno apologizing? That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> or not. Now, to the surprise of everyone, two unlikely friendships emerged after Eno and Tintin went their separate ways. Let's look at which of the two have remained strong and which one collapsed under a weapon shot. Uh, I'ma tell you, say no. go, you wanna know that shit. I ain't ever asked to know. She mad you kept it real. We doing business together, so none of that even matter. Why would you be working for free? I mean, she's helped me get the stuff ready for my ex throwing, so I'm just repaying her a little bit of the help. No, but I know the other ladies think you broke. She said it's because I'm too negative. Oh, so you friends with the bitch. So it don't matter that she done beat your ass a couple <laughs> times. I know it's seeing rough right now, but it ain't nothing that time can't fix. And now they not friends no more. And we've been cool ever since. Oh, really? Because Carver, we done really rocked on your skull a few times, too. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I think about 10, 10 being behind that employee that landed you in a lawsuit. Oh, shit. The really work on the head, though. Try to add a little more friendship into it. That could work. As long as you don't go cut your hair to match mine again. <laughs> <laughs> Tintin basically set up what happened at my restaurant. Exactly. That sounds illegal. Somebody got hurt. Yeah, or like an ass whipping. Sound like that to me. me. Okay. I'll beat that bitch ass to the courtroom. Okay, hold on. I'm catching a salt charge now. No, I want one. <laughs> Let's start with Sakura. Sakura, what opened your heart to letting bygones be bygones and making up with Eno? I mean, Eno and I have history. Sure, we fight and insult each other, but it makes us better versions of ourselves at the end of it. We all need a little friendly beat to keep us in line, and if you need them, they're there. Mm. I mean, okay. you both were at a low point in your marriages when you reconnected. Do you feel like maybe this is some sort of trauma bond? Like you need each other to fill some type of void? Wait, I don't need anyone to pick me up when I'm down. Nor can an absent partner traumatize me. Okay. Hold on now. I'm just asking what the viewers want to hear. Okay, well, let them hear this. I don't need anyone. You just said you needed her. I said if, if you need them. Well, she was vandalizing her own shop, and you <laughs> ran out your house like an episode of Mori after finding out Sasuke was the father of Kane and son. So, so it seems like you needed her to be. Yeah. Bitches spend their entire childhood being needy and grow up to swear they independent. I am independent. Yay, bitch. You want me to call Webby? It's just y'all keep saying needy. <laughs> I'm y'all that's not the case. We're cool because we want to be friends. Okay. If we decide tomorrow, hell, even tonight, that we want to be again, then our personal lives will be affected very little. Thank you. Okay, but the question, what made you not want to donkey kick her teeth in when she was down? I don't know. Um, it would have been too easy. <laughs> very easy. So... 
Do you think she would have gave you the same grace? Probably not. Mm. I don't know. Don't look at her. She gonna lie. Do uh, you think if Eno saw you at a low point like that, she would have given you grace? Um. Damn girl, I would hope so. Yes. Yeah. I think she would. Mm. I don't think she would have. I think so I would have. Why is this even a question? We're just wondering if it's genuine as all. Okay. I mean, this group has torn apart tighter friendships. If I had to put my money on who was next? Well, with your track record, I would lay off again. And with your track record, I wouldn't believe the words out of your mouth if you put them on the Shinobi code. Y'all friendships are fickle, though. Like, if I don't like a bitch today, Sakura, I'm not gonna like a bitch tomorrow, Sakura, <laughs> and I'm not gonna like a bitch next year, Sakura. Of course not. You don't like bitches, Bitches too. like you. Connie hit the nail on the head when she said foo foo bitches because y'all relationships be so up and down, like on some six flag shit. These friendships ain't worth the chopper and sooner tea. But Roshimar, what friends do you have? Over 12 years of age. Oh. Quickly, you know, man. Yeah, dog. I just got back to the village, and me and you both is two for two. And Sakura, you need to hope Sasuke ain't making no new friends while he in jail. Ooh. Since you want to worry about He life. not. Don't worry. Girl, he probably threw that bar so. All right, now, it's time to discuss the friendship scandal between Karawi and Tintin. Not this really. was the messiest, dirtiest, nastiest, triflingest, childishest thing I could have ever hoped to see. Not soon, not a. And I loved it. Messy ass. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, this was very unfortunate, especially considering for a moment, you two started to like each other. Karawi, you've been quiet all night. What's on your mind? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Well, I'll start. Carly, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, I apologize. Mm, I should have never let my morality stoop so low as to sabotage something you've been working on. I was jealous. You were having great success and the knife throwing was going so well. I was envious. I wish I had accepted the offer from Sonata, but that aside, I did enjoy spending time with you. And I was starting to look forward to a friendship, but regardless of it all, you didn't deserve what was done to you. And I'm sorry I hurt your business, our potential friendship, and you. Carmen, no response? No response. No response? No. You're just Yee. shut down. You're done. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just started, Carl. We like, what's she wrong? She got that right, though. Why was she wrong? Not I'm just trying to make it right. Well, what do you want? I don't know. I mean, I thought she just poured her heart out to you. Well, what do you want me to say? I, I, something. If someone poured their heart out to me, I might have a response. I don't know. Might. Exactly. Don't, crazy. don't have to. She doesn't owe anybody a response. That's right. Carl is the actual realest girl in here. Who told Hinata about Eno? Who still gave Connie a chance when nobody else did? Who went on to try to help a struggling weapon shop get back on his feet? Tintin's ain't the only place to get a damn ax. She did that because she genuinely wants to see everybody here succeed. So how do you just tell her to just get out? I'm not asking her to get out. Yes, she didn't. Okay, well, we still have to talk back. I had nothing but good intentions when I went to her about working together. And the whole time, she was the reason all of my hard work was at risk of being shut down. I know it wasn't right. I was angry and it I, don't matter. What you did was dirty and low down. Yeah, was. I would never, in all my days of living, go and set your business up to get shut down because I do not have a dirty soul like that. And I feel like you had no real reason to do that. I said I was upset. My sales aren't the best, and you were having crazy success for what I kind of felt like should have been for me. It does not matter. You cannot just do things because you're upset. We are adults. We all work up here on this show together. I'm not trying to take anybody out. No, I ain't got to like your ass, but I'm not gonna go sit and try and be dirty and ruin your livelihood. I would never sit up here and do no bullshit like that. So I'm understanding you felt some type of way about Carly's success with Axe that I had originally offered to you. But what was your intent with sending a guy there to cause an incident? Did you want to get her business shut down? First of all, I did not want to get her shut down. 
I did want to show her how easily an accident could happen. That's not true. That is true. No, you sat up there with that shop full of unwanted merchandise and you wanted to be low down and dirty. Unwanted. But you can never win when you dirty, honey. You can <laughs> never win. What the fuck did I do to you for you to do that? Nothing. It was nothing, nothing personal towards you, Carly. I was going through an angry, depressive state. Right, so you plot on me and then you get into it with the only other person who know what you did as if they not gonna run and tell it. You're stupid. You're not I'm smart. I'm not stupid. You're not smart. Oh, really? You think you're gonna do dirt and get into it with the person who knows? Yeah, okay. First of all, she For didn't record. I can tell anything. Girl, bye. It was all just a little too convenient. A convenient, perfect little setup. Who I literally had nothing that? to do with you this. You know, just stay out of it because I'm really not in the mood. Regardless, that shit was low down and dirty. And I will never forget that you did that to me. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, before we go any further with this, let's take a little break. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I think, you know, it was admirable to see Tintin and apologize and, and, you know, own up to it and be real truthful. And you can see in sense that it's hard though, but at the same time, that don't mean Cardi gotta, you know, be nice and loving or even accept it truthfully, you know, everybody got it right. And I think the reason why I identify with Kari the most is because this is how I am in real life. My current work situation is kind of like this show. It's real messy and crazy, but I genuinely want to see everybody succeed and I wouldn't do no crazy shit like that. So I find myself just staying out the way, being quiet, trying to advise and guide people and then just doing my own thing. So <laughs> this was interesting. This was really interesting. And hopefully um, part three will be like the conclusion and we can see like, you know, how everything kind of comes together. But let me know what you thought about this below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, peace.